Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and welcome to Make It Monday. Today I am making one of my favorite things, um, and I actually use this daily. I also give it away as gifts, and what it is is my makeup remover. And um, they're toxin-free, like face wipes. And this is what they look like. These little rounds is what I use. I take off my makeup with it, including my eye makeup, but realize that there is some of the Bonner's Castile soap in it. So you don't want to burn your eyes. So what I do when I clean my eye off with it, I'll take a little uh, tissue and I wipe it off before I open my eyes. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. And what you want to start with is a cup of water. And the way I make them is I have my little container here that I put them in and I go ahead and I mix everything into the cup. I have a two cup container here and I mix everything right in here. And then I pour it in here and I put the rounds in. So we're gonna start. So I've got the cup of water and I previously made a tablespoon of the Bonner's Castile soap because I have such a big container of it that it was gonna be a little difficult to pour it easily. So pour that right in. Then also, I personally like jojoba oil uh, for my face. Now you could use argan oil, you could use coconut oil, but um, beware that coconut oil can clog the pores and I know jojoba oil will not. So go ahead and put, again, one tablespoon. You could even do a little under a tablespoon of the oil. All right, and then witch hazel. You want, I like, I happen to like this rose witch hazel. I really think this one is a good one. And this calls for two tablespoons. Put that in and I usually just use tea tree, but I got a new recipe today to go ahead and try, and it has uh, lavender in it. So if you don't really love the smell of the tea tree, and I know some people don't, the lavender is really good for your skin as well, and it'll make it smell a little bit nicer. So my recipe calls for um, three drops of each. So one, to three of the tea tree and one, two, three of the lavender. I think I might have gotten an extra in there. I never worry about that. Okay, and that's it. So we've got water, we have tea tree, we have lavender, we have the um, unscented Castile soap. Make sure you get that one. I, I usually try to get the baby one as well because that is for um, the, the sensitive skin. And also your two tablespoons of witch hazel, your oil, your essential oils. Pour it into your container and then go ahead and put your rounds in. And you can make these as um, dry or as wet as you like them. This is totally up to you by how many of these you put into the container. All right, I hope that was helpful to you. And sometimes what I do to really mix it up, and don't be surprised, you might see little yellow uh, lines on them. That's just the, um, the oil, you know, the jojoba or argan oil, and that's perfectly normal. And sometimes what I do, if I feel like they're too dry on the top, I put the top on it and I turn it upside down for a little while and you're good to go. I hope you enjoy them.